Hi, welcome to Forster's Outdoors. This video is a special request asking how I cook my fish. Stay tuned. All right, so what I have here is some fresh caught Lake Winnipeg walleye from yesterday. And I've got a piece of northern pike here. This is from a larger fish and I've marinated it in milk. If you marinate your northern pike in milk, it helps take the fishiness out of it. So with the northern pike, I like to marinate it for a couple hours in the milk. And then you bring it out of your milk and just pat it dry. They have sort of a bad reputation, but I think they're a pretty good eating fish. This one has been deboned. So we're gonna do some northern pike and some walleye. Like, geez, eh, what kind of fish is that? I'm sorry, if you're from Manitoba, I'll translate. Uh, jackfish and pickerel. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to oven bake our northern pike, and I'm going to do two different kinds of batter or breading on the walleye. I'm gonna do some in a panko breading, and I'm gonna do some in a beer batter. So for the northern pike, I'm gonna use a baking sheet with some parchment paper. And we're just gonna season our northern pike with your favorite seasonings. You can use salt or pepper, um, any kind of seasoning you like. I use this, it's an island spice. I'll leave a link to it. They're not a sponsor, but we really like it on our fish. We'll coat both sides. I'm gonna preheat my oven to 350 degrees and you cook it until it flakes. How long it takes to cook depends on what kind of fish you're cooking. So you have to keep an eye on it until you get the hang of it. But basically you wanna cook it until it flakes. All right, my oven is preheated. Put our northern pike in and just keep an eye on it. We're done this. Quick check on our northern pike here. It's looking good. For my pickerel, or walleye, I've got two nice pieces here. This is the back, this is the front. I've already taken the bones out. There's a row of bones in here um, and have these ones ready. So these ones I'm gonna do with a panko breading. And these will be done with a dredge. These ones I'm gonna do uh, some panko and some in beer batter. I've also got the cheeks from the fish. These guys I'm gonna do in a panko breading. So I'm gonna set up my dredge and then I'll show you how I'm doing this. Okay, so we're gonna dredge this fish here. I've cut the bigger fillet up into smaller uh, equal sized pieces. My dredge is flour egg wash, panko. So it's just a matter of run it through the flour, egg, panko, and it's ready to be cooked. The salt and pepper, remember to garnish from a great height.
Next I'm going to make beer batter. And I found the best way to do this is you use one cup of all-purpose flour. I've seasoned this with salt and pepper. <clears throat> you can use whatever seasoning you like in there. And it's one cup of all-purpose flour to one beer. So you whisk this in. And it makes almost like a uh, tempura. You want to use ice cold beer, as if there's any other kind. This one is Brew House. They're not a sponsor, but it does say refreshingly honest. So you want about this consistency. It's very, very thin. And so the trick to doing this one now is going to be to use a dredge, dredge your fish and flour into the beer batter, into the deep fryer. It makes a big mess from about here to here. So what you do, take a piece of your fish, dredge it nicely in flour. I find it helps with the beer batter sticking to the fish. Into the beer batter, coat it nicely, let the excess run off. When you put this in the deep fryer, you have to put it in slowly, otherwise it'll immediately go to the bottom and stick to the stick to your deep fryer. So you just work it till it builds up some bubbles. Like so. so it's a little tedious, but it's tasty. Alright, so here we have beer battered walleye, if you're from Manitoba it's pickerel. We have oven baked northern pike, and again if you're from Manitoba it's jackfish. And we have panko breaded deep fried walleye. With some deep fried potatoes, served with some lemon, I usually serve this with some coleslaw. But that's how I do my fish. Thanks for watching.